Hey, what's up, you guys? It is me, Narada African Hair God, and I said that I am going to start whipping out my camera and shooting videos whenever I get the inspiration, such as tonight. I haven't posted in the past three months prior to my last video because, well, anytime I got the urge or inkling or inspiration to do so, I always thought, uh, do I feel like whipping out my camera and getting in front of the lights and making a video and editing and uploading and like when I thought about all that I just I got lazy and I was like nah I'm not doing all of that but now I'm trying to encourage and, and force myself to commit to doing that so that I can at least upload a bit more consistently because I definitely have, have fallen off when it comes to posting on here so um yeah anyways I will get on and ramble and this video will go on and on forever I'm, let me get to the point all right so what I want to talk about today is um, how society has changed as far as black men and what's acceptable with their natural hair. Um, this is something that a lot of people really, I feel like in the natural hair community, specifically women, didn't really pay attention to. They kind of just dismissed or disregarded. Um, and I've even heard people over the years of being on YouTube say that I have no place or men have no place in the natural hair community. Like, this is a woman-only space. Um, and, you know, because we as men can't relate to the harsh expectations that society places on women and black women in particular with their natural hair and this and that and you know i'm not going to try to diminish um uh, women's experience with their hair because i definitely do feel like it's valid and it definitely deserves to be discussed however i don't feel like we get that same respect when it comes to men um because i feel like men also have their own uh, experience when it comes to their natural hair and society's expectations of what's acceptable and what isn't. And that's something that we really don't discuss much. Um, prime example, in the last video I mentioned about me um, going on my first job interview, having my natural hair and not knowing what the hell to do with it when it came to going on an interview. Like, how am I supposed to dress this up and not look overly feminine and not look too distracting and not, you know, like what, what's professional with natural hair for men? And back then, the first thing that came to mind for me was um, getting my hair braided up in some corn, a nice simple cornrow style where it was clean and sleek or whatever. But what happens when you don't know how to braid your own hair and you don't know anybody who can or you can't get to someone to braid your hair in time for your interview? Well, then what do you do? You know, so all I did was wore a puff, didn't get the job, but um, I don't know. It just, like, I never considered it before. And the reason for that is because, well, growing up um, in my day and age, which was in the 90s, um, I was born in 1990, I didn't really have many options when it came to my hair. Growing up, I only had one option, that was to get a haircut. And a lot of times, I didn't even get that on a regular basis. But that's a whole nother story. But I never got the opportunity to really experience and grow up my hair until I reached the age of 18. And that's only because I went off to college. And at that point, my decision with my hair was my own. Before then, my mother said, oh, no, you're getting a haircut. Men don't grow out their hair. Uh, you know, you look clean and civ civilized uh, with a fresh haircut. Um, so there was definitely a lot of negative um, attitudes towards black men. And this it wasn't particularly just with my mother. I've heard this over the years with people in general, like, oh, you need to, you need to do something with that nappy hair. It's time for you to go get a haircut. You know, the same way women used to hear all the stuff about, you know, it's time for them to get a relaxer, you know, that nappy hair, that, that good hair. Uh, men, when it came to options with our hair back in the day, we really didn't have many options. Growing up as a child, I don't recall seeing many men with long natural hair. Like, they would rock certain cuts. 
um, high top fades, low fades. For the most part, I didn't really see men be too expressive when it came to um, exploring their hair. Um, as time went on and I got into uh, elementary school and middle school, I started to notice more black uh, males rocking, growing out their hair, but they were only growing it out to get their hair braided. Um, it wasn't that many people rocking the locks. In, as far as I know, in my ex personal experience, I didn't see that many people rocking locks. Um, but seeing locks on men wasn't you know, unheard of. You definitely saw it. It was there. Um, but definitely not as prevalent as it is now. And I just say all that to say I find it interesting now how today in this day and age, like it just seems like us black men have a lot more freedom and options to explore and be more expressive when it comes to our hair. Um, I think back in back in my day growing up, um, a black man having longer hair was often seen as um, a bit feminine. It was seen as something negative. It was seen as what are you going to do with that? Um, a lot of times people would kind of categorize a person as being gay or homosexual just because he had hair and he wasn't rocking the cornrows like everybody else was rocking that had hair. He wasn't trying to get locks. So I didn't really see a lot of people, like I said, um, wearing natural hairstyles, wearing wash and goes, wearing twist outs. Occasionally, now you would see men rocking afros, but even that was a rarity in my experience. Um, well, maybe not a rarity, but you didn't see it too often, okay? And if you did, that's really all there was to men rocking hair braids, afro, locks, and that was it. Nowadays, you have men. Um, growing out their hair, doing wash and goes, doing twist outs, defining the curls, um, adding extensions, doing lock extensions, um, even getting color, even getting hair color for men back in the day was seen as something as, um, kind of pushing the envelope, pushing the, you know, like it, it wasn't. It, it, it was a very gray area that not many men felt comfortable stepping into because, again, they didn't want to be associated with this kind of queer or suggest that they might be, you know, gay or homosexual. Because that, that was the attitude. Like, I don't know if it was just me as a, a, a feminine gay male growing up, but that's what I encountered and what I heard from people growing up when it came to men and their natural hair. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, like if you had a different experience with that, but as a black man growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s, like if you tried to like venture out and like go platinum blonde perhaps or, you know, uh, add some blue to your hair or, you know, like I didn't really see that too much. I saw, you know, Caucasian men and other men of other ethnicities kind of experiment more with that. But with black men, it was kind of frowned upon. It was kind of like, where are you going with that? What are you doing? You know? Um, so yeah, I just say out this to say like, um, now that men are, are being more, um, expressive with their hair, I think, I think it's a great thing, and I'm not gonna act like, you know, I'm above the bullshit either, because I, I definitely make my judgments every now and again, like, for instance, I saw this rapper, um, in a music video on YouTube, and he was, uh, rapping about, you know, some, uh, you know, banging some thought monkey or something. And it was like three women in the bed with him and feeling on him and busting it open. And, you know, like, and I'm just sitting there looking at him. And I'm like, wait a minute, but you rocking, you rocking box braids, bro. What's going on here? You know, like I was getting mixed messages, but now, you know, thinking back to it, reflecting on it now, I realized that that is a, a conditioning kind of reaction that I have that is um, rooted in homophobia. Um, if if I if I would go as far as to say, and before somebody says it, no, I don't have no gay agenda. I'm not trying to push no um, socio political ideas onto anybody. But I'm just saying I find it funny 
that we are, um, at times we can be a bit homophobic or just a bit, um, we can just carry negative attitudes towards anything that is outside of the norm or something that's different that we don't particularly understand. And I had to check myself about that too when I was thinking about making this video. Like, wait a minute, bro. Did, didn't you just try to come at this dude for rocking? Right now, albeit the braids he was rocking now, I don't know who does his braids. They do a really good job. He had the, uh, the undercut with the shaved sides. And um, he had just the hair at the top, and he had some really small, almost like micro braids, but it wasn't micro. It was just really tiny braids. And me being a hairstylist, I could see that he was rocking um, hair extension, like to extend his hair. It looked natural. It looked nice on him. It didn't look feminine. You know, it didn't. It it it, it looked like a nice style on him. But because I knew that it was hair addition to his style, I automatically just associated him with being gay. And I had to ask myself, what, like, why, why he gotta be all that, you know? Maybe he like smashing thought monkeys and he like his hairstyle with the, the you know, the brain in hair, you know? Like, that's his thing. Like, I don't know. Um, but it, 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 it just got me thinking, like, why, why do we think like that? And like I said, I feel like it's just, conditioning and I, I like I said I feel like it's rooted in homophobia and it, it's obviously with me being an openly gay person you would think that I wouldn't have such attitudes towards it but this just goes to show you just how much it's ingrained in our thinking in our psyche as a culture as a community of with this hyper masculine image that is so fragile for the black man in the black community you know like he can't do anything artsy or creative or, you know, dare he be different um, because then he's going to be a fruitcake. You know, like, it's just like, what? And I know, I know you're seeing men rocking more than just, you know, um, inconspicuous box braids. And I even saw the same rapper with some, some Marley twist. But again, it was the small, it was inconspicuous. It, it looked natural. It didn't look, you know, feminine or gay on him. So, you know, I was like, you know, I was checking it out. I was like, okay, you know, like, you ain't my type, but shit, you catch me on a Saturday night, you know. Anyways. <coughs> so, yeah, I know y'all seeing all these videos on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff of uh, men getting the man units or the man weaves and whatnot. Now, what are my thoughts with that? At first, I'm going to be honest, okay? If we if we going to be honest, I was like, bro, no. Like, I'm, like, you getting a whole, like, weave, you, get, you getting the tracks. But again, I had to go back and I had to ask myself, like, why do I feel this way with something that's different. You know, like, why, why do I automatically go to the whole gate? Like, or, or why do I automatically just have this negative attitude and perception about it? And again, I think it's just conditioning, you know? And the more and more I thought about it, I'm like, well, shoot, if women can, you know, cake up all this makeup and, you know, turn into a whole different person... And, you know, people are making jokes about taking her to the pool on the first date. Um, and, you know, she can rock all these hair dishes and, and wigs and stuff and not have no edges. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they can do all of that and, you know, they do what makes them feel comfortable and happy with themselves and, you know, their looks and, and their aesthetic or whatever. Why can't men do the same thing? You know, like, OK, maybe the man is suffering from male pattern baldness. Um, maybe he just feels like his hair isn't as thick or full as he wanted to be. Maybe he wants to experiment a different texture of hair. I don't know, but I don't think like we should just bash the guy for, you know, getting a man unit or a man weave or whatever the case is. If it makes him feel better, if it makes him feel more confident, if him, if he's happy with it and he ain't hurting nobody, he ain't, de he definitely ain't hurting me. Why the fuck am I so bothered about it? You know, that's just how I feel. Um, I, I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that as well. 
Which is why I guess I'm making this video because, um, like I said, it doesn't get the, like this doesn't get discussed, and um, I think it's a valid talking point for us to have. Um, besides just the same old, same old natural hair topics that we always talk about. We never, you know, we never consider these sort of things. And, um, I think that's all I really wanted to, uh, talk about. So, yeah, going forward, I, I, I am trying to be more conscientious of my thought process when it comes to men and fashions and styles and stuff. Cause I was even hating on straight men rocking skinny pants and skinny jeans. Some of y'all youngins out there might be like, what? Everybody's rocking there. Like, what is he talking about? Like that don't automatically make you gay. Cause you got skinny jeans. Like for me growing up in, in high school and middle school, like anybody rocking skinny jeans, that was seen as gay. You know, like that, that was some fruity and a booty, funny bunny type shit. And I remember I used to always get teased for that, for rocking, um, fitted or, um, skinny jeans. And now all of a sudden everybody, every dude walking down the street, he got the nerve to sag his skinny jeans and wear a damn belt. And we can see your dirty ass drawers. Like, you know, but nobody say, Oh, you know, that's gay now. And all of a sudden that's the style. That's the fashion. It's, it's, it's whatever. Um, so I just have to say, I think it's, I think it's a good direction that we're going in for allowing men to again be, more creative um, and explore themselves and their style and their aesthetic a bit more. Um, but I really want to know what you guys think about this. Please chime in, all my fellas. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this. Let me know if I'm alone and on how I feel or my perceptions growing up with this idea about men um, and their hair and often being associated with being gay. I know for me, a lot of people automatically associated me with being gay just because I had hair and I wore styles outside of the typical cornrows, locks, afro, anything outside of that. People was kind of looking at you with the side and like, girl, you see that? You see that? So, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, please chime in down below. I want to know your thoughts and I will see y'all later in the next video. Until then, be blessed.